Hi again. Uh, we're going to go over the syllabus now, so if you want to uh, take a moment and pause the video, log into Blackboard and pull that off the course information tab, go ahead and do that. Uh, but we're going to kind of highlight some aspects of the syllabus. I'm not going to read it word for word. I hope it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the first thing to note is our live class times there in the, under course information, 210 to 325 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you are an on-campus or a live video student, note the date and time. Uh, if you're an online-only student, uh, then that really that doesn't apply to you so much. Unless you do want to join in a live video, if you can, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, <clears throat> I am an uh, employee of Piedmont, so I am there Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And so I'm available in my office, D303. <coughs> Excuse me. I got my office phone and my email there for you as well, and my cell phone listed. Uh, please uh, uh, feel free to call or text me on my cell phone, and I uh, do want to be able to keep up with you in the future, even uh, through through text, cell phone, that sort of thing. Um, as you uh, leave Piedmont and graduate and get involved in church planting or disciple making, wherever you are, we'd love to keep up with you and always be a, a source, a resource for you. So, 20 years from now, I may have the same cell phone number. If I do, feel free to give me a call, send me a text if you need anything regarding church planting. Uh, this is a, a group effort. Uh, I believe that uh, we all need to work together, both individually and churches, to plant more churches and uh, make more disciples for Jesus. So uh, do feel free to text uh, me or call me. Just note the times that I have uh, listed that I ask that you not uh, text me during. So um, I do go to bed early and get up early. And so I just asked uh, for a little bit of respect there. Unless you have an emergency, feel free. Um, course description. I do want to highlight uh, the first sentence there. We're talking about North American context. Uh, we're largely talking about the United States and Canada. Uh, the second sentence about developing a missional theology. That's essentially looking at scripture and the mission of God and uh, rooting what we believe about disciple making and church planting from that. So we're, we're developing a missional theology of church planting uh, and rooting that in scripture. Uh, and then the last sentence, emphasis will be placed on examining the church planter's calling, character, and capabilities. Uh, we're going to look at you, who you are and what has God called you to do um, in church planting. Uh, look down at the course textbooks now. Notice that there are five listed, but only three are required. Uh, you can get by with actually only purchasing three. Uh, the optional book, one is free that you get from the Multiply uh, Movement website or through the app. And then the Life on Mission book, I do have uh, several free copies the publisher gave me uh, of those. So uh, if you're uh, be in class uh, this Thursday, you will receive a free copy of that. If you're an online student and I can mail it to you for a reasonable price, send me your address. I'll be happy to send you one. <coughs> Notice that each book does fit uh, the sections of the course, and so we will first go through Life on Mission in the first uh, section, Gospel Center Discipleship in the second uh, section, and then after the midterm, the whole second half of the course, our primary text will be uh, Ed Stetzer's Planting Missional Churches. And we will also be using that book for the second class as well, so it kind of saves you a little bit of money there. Um, I'll explain the optional textbooks in just a minute. Uh, your course objectives, do note that each objective fits with each section of the course. So the first objective, articulate theology of mission, uh, based on the mission of God, the great commandment, the great commission uh, found in scripture, that fits with the missional foundations. Uh, demonstrate an understanding of the foundational elements in discipling a new believer to reproductive spiritual maturity, that fits with the uh, disciple making essentials uh, section. Uh, assess uh, your personal calling, character, and capabilities of being involved in church planting. That fits the church planter section three. And uh, define a clear gospel centered definition for church planting based on scripture and the phases in starting a new church. Uh, that fits there with the last church planting basics uh, section, uh, which will round off the end of our class and really set us up for the second class in the church planting program, where we look at the, really the nuts and bolts of church planting uh, methods, strategies. Uh, models, uh, fundraising, networking, all those type of ideas. Um, look down at course requirements now. I'm not going to read any of this uh, really word for word. There's a lot of content. I try to be very thorough and clear in the syllabus uh, to limit confusion and questions since there are several ways you can take this class. Uh, but do note uh, there the special note for online only students. You do want to read that carefully and note that you will not be required to do extra uh, work for this class, but you may need to uh, submit it something a different way or do uh, the attendance check a little bit differently. So I'll coach you through on Blackboard through that. 
Notice the partnership, uh, partnerships uh, section, you will choose a partner for this class. I believe in co collaborative learning, and especially when it comes to church planning, it's a team effort. And so you will choose a partner that you'll work on some of the four uh, smaller assignments uh, down below. Uh, we've already gone through the lectures in the previous video, but do want to remind you that you need to watch the, the lecture uh, videos, and if it has a corresponding article to read, you want to do that before the Tuesday class period. Even if you're online, it will be a good practice to have that done. That way the flow of the rest of the week in the assignments uh, fits very nicely. Um, <clears throat> textbook reading, we've kind of covered those a little bit. Just notice those uh, due dates. Um, and I do encourage you to take personal notes. Um, even if uh, uh, the uh, discussion assignment requires something completely different, but you find some really good nuggets, some really good ideas that you want to keep, uh, take, uh, I encourage you to journal and take some good personal notes as well. Uh, scripture reading, section C there. Uh, we will uh, start each uh, collaborative class uh, with a scripture. We'll look at the book of Luke for this class, and <clears throat> we'll go through a chapter a day and uh, basically discuss it, journal some thoughts, um, and start our day with uh, scripture and look at uh, how do we see elements of disciple making, uh, the mission of God, and church planting in the book of Luke as we look at the story of Christ. So I hope that will be a good enriching time uh, for us to dive into scripture, um, especially as we're developing a missional theology. Um, uh, section D there, the uh, section assignments, each of the four sections of the class has a uh, corresponding sh uh, short, small assignment that you'll finish. Um, notice that some are a partner project and one is a uh, solo project. And uh, basically, we will work on these together in class. And so I'll give a full explanation of rubrics in the class period and post that on Blackboard for you online students. Uh, but do note that the uh, first one, the Theology of Mission Statement, uh, you will uh, post this to your Google portfolio as well. Come in handy when you are talking with a church or later down the road. Uh, someone wants to look at your profile to see if they want you to help in planning a church or something. At least you have a good, solid Theology a mission outline for them to kind of get a little bit of, of your uh, your heartbeat for the gospel. Uh, the second one, the second uh, for uh, making a discipleship path outline, I'll give you a rubric for those uh, to kind of let you know which uh, uh, life stage or period I'm really looking at you to um, outline and describe. And we're talking from going from lost to leading. Uh, taking a person who you're leading to Christ, you're investing in, sharing the gospel with, you lead them to Christ, uh, and then at some point in time, they're your next church planter that your church is sending out. So uh, we'll kind of uh, have you do an exercise of outlining that, and the reading from Gospel Gospel Center Discipleship will really help you kind of formulate that, that path as well and give you some handles for that. Um, the third section assignment is your calling video. You'll upload that uh, here on Blackboard, and uh, you will... Um, uh, write out kind of a manuscript for so you kind of know what you're saying. And for those who, who are on campus at Piedmont and are near the uh, the campus, I am trying to line up for us to do this inside of the uh, professional studio that we have uh, with our videographer. So maybe I can't can't promise say for sure, but I am trying to work that out. Uh, if you are an online student, I'm sorry if you're not able to come. That might be an expensive flight for a three minute video, but uh, you you will not be docked for doing it like I'm doing in a bedroom. Uh, so do do not uh, do not fear. Um, that video will also be put onto your Google portfolio as well. Um, the fourth uh, section assignment is Church Planting Phases Project. This is your creative project. You will work with your partner, but I want you to be creative and have fun with this one, okay? Uh, you are uh, representing in some way the church planting phases. There are different ways of describing them, and we will go through that uh, in, in, the, in the class period for that. Uh, but I want you to have fun. I want you to let me know that you understand uh, where to start with an idea for church planting and going to where you have a reproducing movement of churches happening. So uh, you'll articulate that through a drama, a video, uh, um, a graph that you paint. Um, I don't care how you do it. Uh, I just want you to have fun with it and be creative. Uh, section E, the test. There are four section tests, and the second one is the midterm, the fourth one is the final, uh, and it will come from the lecture material. Okay, so uh, there will not be any of your reading content from the textbooks on your test, uh, nor will there be uh, anything um, from 
your uh, section of assignments necessarily, but there will be stuff from your lecture content which can include video and something written. So if there is an article that has four points for planning a church in Boston, for instance, you do want to note those four points and record those because it was part of the lecture portion of the assignment. So do note, do note, uh, take note of that. Uh, your book project is where you will you get to choose which one you want to do. Uh, you will choose if you're a more hands-on type person. You may want to choose the multiply. We actually will walk a person uh, uh, either a new believer or someone you're wanting to lead to Christ or you know uh, whichever uh, you're going to walk them through the material the book is actually designed to be a discipleship tool for one-on-one -on -one or, or small group discipleship so I want you to assess it see how it works see how it feels and how you like it and uh, you will write a short assessment at the end of it and turn in some weekly like progress reports on those uh, the second one that you can choose from, and we choose between one or the other, is uh, Brandon Smith's Make, Mature, Multiply. This is your creative writing project, okay? Uh, um, if you are a... Um, <clears throat> Uh, you are more apt and, and really enjoy a little bit of the research, writing. I call it the nerdy side. That fits me a little bit more. Uh, if you really like that aspect, then you will read the book and you will write your own three articles um, that will fit the book as well. Uh, do notice that I uh, put in the syllabus that we're going to try to split these out evenly. I'm not assigning these uh, per se to each person. I do want you to have a choice in it. Uh, but I do want an equal representation. So if you want the last ones to choose, I'm going to be sending a Google form out this week uh, where you just basically go in and and choose uh, what uh, uh, book project you want to do and um uh, what I want, uh, actually not a Google form, I'll probably have it on a discussion board uh, so you can see other people's choices. But um, anyways, when you make that choice, if you're one of the last ones and more people have chosen Chan, I need someone else to do the, the Make Mature Multiply, then I may ask you to, to switch um, and uh, 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 do that. So um, <clears throat> the last uh, assignment is, of course, your participation, your collaboration. Uh, <clears throat> if you are on campus or on a live video, I'll be able to assess that more easily. If you're online, uh, we'll have an online way of uh, kind of checking your uh, collaboration, your participation. And it may be if you're an online student, your partner may be an on-campus student. That's the beauty of these integrated formats is that there's a lot of variety of ways that you can interact with other students. And I try to design the class to, to maximize uh, that in every way. So it may be that you are interacting with your partner completely online and not uh, during the physical class time. But you will be great on your participation, uh, both on discussion board, lecture time if that's applicable, uh, and in your group project. Um, go down to uh, course policies next. Uh, you'll see that uh, the first one, no late work. I do this for your benefit, okay? I am a procrastinator at heart, and that has not been a good thing for me. I'm trying to get better, and one of the best things for me is to have a very hard, fast uh, deadline for things so I can make my schedule and do things more efficiently. And so I uh, will not accept late work unless an extenuating circumstance happens. Uh, you are uh, a upper-level sophomore or junior, possibly even a senior uh, at Piedmont by now, and uh, you should know how to manage your time and work out a calendar uh, by this point. So um, please do not email me uh, the next day and say, oh, I forgot or I did this. I'm going to be reminding you of your assignments in Blackboard. We'll be working on projects uh, during the collaborative time, and I will have a good open time frame uh, win uh, time window for your test. Okay, so I'm giving you all the uh, freedom to to not have to worry about turning anything late. Um, uh, if you have any other questions about course policies, please just send me an email. Uh, if you are in a partner project or group project, um, you know you may be graded based on your group, and that's fine. Your your you and your partner may turn in one document together, and I'll explain that in, in the assignments as well. But uh, something like a test or the solo project, that's those are solo projects. Okay, no uh, no cheating and working together on a test. Um, go down now to your uh, course schedule. Uh, you'll see that Tuesday and Thursdays, of course, are our class meeting time. And uh, the, the outline I have below that, uh, you'll notice that Thursday typically has a guest in class. And what I'm trying to do is the, the, the church planters and guys I'm trying to line up to come to class, um, I'm trying to schedule them for Thursday class period to kind of keep a good steady flow. Uh, but if it happens that they cannot come on that Thursday, but they can on Tuesday, we'll just simply switch that week's uh, Tuesday with Thursday. So we'll do the uh, lecture conversation and work on the assignments on Thursday and have the guest in on Tuesday. So I'll try to let you know either in class or in email or, or on Blackboard if we do have a change, uh, something like that. Uh, but that does not uh, uh, 
uh, take away the fact that you do need to watch the lectures before the Tuesday uh, class portion. Uh, if you have any questions about the assignments and the due dates, uh, please just uh, send me an email. Like I said, I will be coaching you through on Blackboard on uh, what to turn in and when to turn in and how to turn in. Uh, so just uh, uh, pay attention to that. And um, if you have any other questions about the syllabus, uh, feel free to discuss that uh, with me in the class period uh, next Tuesday when I'm back in town. And uh, you can, of course, uh, email a call as well. So uh, I look forward to this class. I know we're going to have a great time together learning about the software making and church planting. And I hope it's a benefit to you and uh, your ministry. We'll see you in class.